Hello everybody, this is Jerry with San Pedro Mastery. Today's video is one that doesn't just concern the San Pedro cactus and the peyote, but also many other types of cacti and plants. I'm going to show you how I revive old seeds that do not germinate anymore. This is a method that has worked wonderfully well for me. Before I show you how to revive the seeds, let me explain why I needed to revive them in the first place. You may be aware that it is currently really hard to find viable and properly identified Peruvian torch seeds. I have ordered some from the two most important cactus seed dealers in Holland and Germany, and none of them turned out to be Peruvian torch. I received what looked like Pacanoi and Cuscoensis instead. I was not happy. But like everyone else, I didn't complain because this is the norm. You just have no guarantee as to what you're going to get. I mean, these seeds were more or less viable, they were just not properly identified. Next, I ordered some seeds directly from Peru. When you talk about Peru, most people think about that seller that exported a lot of very interesting Tucaceres seeds and seedlings, usually wrongly labeled, and that is now known for the terrible viability of his seeds, which are also poorly identified. Well, that's not from him that I ordered. I ordered from another guy in Peru, who has just one variety of Trichocerus seeds, and they happen to be a particularly pure strain of Peruvianus. I won't give any names here, I'm not interested in doing that. Although if you know quite a bit about this plant, you'll probably guess. Now I've stopped buying from him for two reasons. The first one, my last two orders never arrived, and they were fairly large orders. The other reason I stopped buying from him is that even though he kept telling me the seeds were fresh, I had terrible germination rates with them. Originally, I had below average germination rates. Then with the following batches he sent me, I had once 7% germination and another time 3%. Ouch. Not to mention his seeds always arrive dirty with small parts of the fruit still on it. And that has led the seeds in some instances to rot and also spread white mold. Not great. So right now I don't get seeds anymore from Peru, but I still have a stock of his old Peruvian torch seeds and I really like the plants that grow out of them. So I've looked into ways of reviving these old seeds. Let me show you how I revive old seeds. You will need these things. Some bottled mineral water, a small bottle of hydrogen peroxide, some sugar, and a fine sieve. Fine enough so that the seeds don't go through it. The first thing you will have to do if the seeds don't look very clean is to wash them in some soapy water. A few drops of this washing liquid will do, then you rinse them well. You can do that under the tap if you want. This step is only necessary if your seeds don't look very clean. I had to do it for the Peruvian torch seeds I was telling you about because they were very dirty. Dirty seeds are usually very sticky with each other. You want to remove that stickiness and at the same time wash away mold spores. Next you need to pour some bottled mineral water in a glass and add some hydrogen peroxide. If you use a typical 3% solution that is found in pharmacies, then you need to mix one part of that 3% solution to 20 parts water. A simple way for you to measure that would be to fill a glass with 2 inches of water in height and add a tenth of an inch of solution. For people who understand better metrics, that's 5 cm of water and 2.5 mm of solution. Don't worry if you don't get it exactly right. I did put twice as much peroxide than I should have and that's been fine. You need to stir a bit the seeds to make sure that they don't stay at the surface. Leave it for an hour and then pour it in the sieve. You then put the seeds in some sugary water. I used brown sugar because that's what I had, but you can also use white sugar, it doesn't matter. You need to put one teaspoon of sugar in one cup of bottled mineral water. One cup is 236 milliliter. Dissolve the sugar, gently stir the seeds so that they don't stay on the surface and then leave it there for 4-5 to five hours. On the screen you will notice that many of these seeds are sinking. Sinking seeds are normally the signs of viable seeds, while the ones that float may be dead. Now when you do this experiment yourself, you may find out all your seeds float. Relax, that doesn't mean they are not viable. I'll tell you why. You need to let the seeds in water for an entire day before the good ones sink. And with my method, you are only waiting them for about 5 to 6 hours, so it's normal that they should float. So why am I sinking so early on? 
Well, I actually washed them the night before and then put them in a cup of bottled mineral water overnight. So they've been in water for quite a while and it's normal for the good ones to sink. And by the way, some people sow only the seeds that sink because sometimes dead seeds can rot and bring mold. Since I've washed them before, I'm not so worried about mold and I like to sow them all just in case the floating ones end up germinating. You never know. What you could actually do is separate the floating ones from the sinking ones and make them germinate in two separate trays. If you do that, make sure you share the results with us in the comment section below. Then you need to rinse the seeds and afterwards you can sprinkle them on top of the soil. Don't forget to spray a bit of bottled mineral water on top of the soil and seeds before you seal the container. Has this method worked out for me? The same seed that had given me just 3% germination the year before are now well over 50%. So I am very happy with it. That means there's probably a few more years of life in these Peruvian torch seeds. On the image now, you can see the Peruvian torch seed that I managed to revive as they are now. There are still a few seeds coming up just now. That is quite common with old seeds when they get subjected to dry wet cycles or to the UV radiation of the sun. These two things can trigger germinations in seeds that seemed non-viable. By the way, all this is for information only. I am not guaranteeing you you will get good results with my method. If your seeds are really rare and collectible, think twice before doing anything to them. Or you can just use a portion of your seeds and see if they germinate this way before attempting on the rest of them. And if you found this video interesting, please make sure you hit the like button. Also, subscribe and tick the little bell so that you stay informed of my weekly San Pedro and Peyote videos. I'll see you all next week.